Hey guys, welcome back, hope you're all good. So today is an exciting day, it is in fact new bike day and I cannot wait to share my new build Santa Cruz Jackal with you, so let's take a look. Here we have it, the Santa Cruz Jackal 2022 frame option. Comes in two sizes and that is a standard and a long. Frame only options are available and they are 899. Super lightweight, really cool detail on the bottom and nice and subtle. One colour comes out every year. This is a 2022 model year frame and it is in the bacon colour. Personally, when I first saw this colour online and on the pictures when it was first launched, I was thinking, what an awful colour. But seeing it in the flesh, I really like it. And then doing a build of my own on it, I really like this colour now and it's really appealed. And uh, it's really warm to me, should we say. I put a Dibro kit on this, so it's got the really nice Dibro kit, which we will show you in detail. Little spec changes compared to last year, it's now a full bolt through on the rear. So that's a 12 mil bolt through, making sure that wheel is very sturdy and when you case jumps or land sidewards when you're doing whips, it won't kick that wheel out of alignment easy. And it has got an adjustable um, grub screws on the back to align that wheel so you can get that perfect, perfectly central so you're not faffing around with your um, bolts trying to get your wheel set up on the back. So that's really cool. Um, Fork compatibility, you can run 100mm up to a 160 and yes I said that right, that's a 160mm fork. Not too sure why you would want to do that but hey, if you want to try it out, you can. Um, on this particular build, I've got 100mm up front, it's a 20mm bolt through, we've got hub wheels on it, so that's a Pro 4 um, hubs on the Fortis 30 rims, so a nice strong wheel. We've also got the hope brakes, so that is a hope new tech four levers, which feel really nice. They're quite sharp on the edges compared to the previous model, um, so it'll take a bit of getting used to and setting them up. But yeah, we've got the new tech four, the stopping power is really, really good. 160 mil rotor on the rear, so a nice small um, disc on the back, keeping that nice and compact on the back end. The frame is in fact very short on the back end as well, so it does feel really easy to manoeuvre when you're throwing it around and easy to get on that back wheel when you're popping the manis and stuff. This frame size is a long, so they do a standard and they do a long frame. So you've got uh, best of both worlds. If you want a short, compact frame, you've got the short, uh, the standard, and then you've got the long, which is obviously the long length, longer wheelbase. On this build, have got a full Bergtech cockpit. Always build my bikes up with a Bergtech, and shout out to Bergtech in Macclesfield. They've been really good and they've spec this bike up for me. So yeah, shout out to those guys, mega, mega big up to you. We've got the Carbon Express seat post on that just to finish that build off. I will have to drop it a little bit, but it just gets the branding out there. And then the Cloud Boost saddle. On the seat, we've got the Hope Cranks, so 30 mil bottom bracket, um, and then the 30 mil Hope Cranks. Evos were really good, strong platform. So engagement, good engagement on the hub, and then driving that 30 mil up front making sure I can get a few cat crank turns in when I need to. We've got 2.3 tyres on those. The max capacity on this bike, you can run up to a 2.5 on the rear, which is really cool, so you can get a nice solid footprint on the tyres. I'm running the new Mizoki Bombers DJs. I've never run that fork before, so I'm really excited to try that out and see how it compares to DJs that I've run in the past. I've run some Orlins, and I've also run the um, RockShock Pike DJs. So it'll be interesting to see how those compare to previous models that I've run. Um, Bergtech cockpit, so we've got the Bergtech 50mm ride wide. I've cut them down to 770, and then I've got the short mill that I run on my mountain bikes. So I've got the same 35mm 35 up front in black. I rode this bike for the first time yesterday, it got built up, it got finished, threw a leg over it, went straight outside, did some little manuals outside. One thing I will say, it's got a real short back end and it is so balanced on the back wheel. Pop it up, manny for days on it. Um, really, really nice planted feel as well. As soon as you're on it, it just feels so dialed and so supportive. Like 
put any compression into it and the impact's imminent. It does feel really, really good and I'm excited to take it to a skate park. I've fallen off it yesterday, I'll just show you now in this clip. <coughs> yeah, for some reason I thought I was really cool and I could ride a bike and throw some 360. Turns out that I do not have the skill for that and uh, yeah, I've got a real dead ass today, but yeah, awesome bike i really really do like this bike this is going to be my winter bike every winter the dirt jump bikes come out obviously the conditions change trails get wet and to save getting plovered up we go to indoor skate parks through the winter just to own your skills a little bit and progress on dirt jump bikes and i love this time of the year i love building a new bike getting to the skate parks hitting up the ramps hitting up the pump tracks it just really keeps you on your toes and keeps your skills dialed in in the winter so i think dirt jump bikes are really really cool for that and really good so there you have it that is the santa cruz jackal if you've got any questions whatsoever on the build please do drop us a line in the comments hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe cheers for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one